So good afternoon, everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. So I'm walking down the street, trying to locate people, and I'm gonna tell you. Let me clarify what I'm doing. God is telling me something, and He's telling me by sexually attacking me. You see that I'm walking alone, and so I want to know what He's saying. But he's saying to me something about people are jealous. And so I want to bring some things in the open. Why? Well, I don't know what he's saying. I have no idea what he's saying. And I have no idea how to find it out. But I don't care. But if someone is fucking you, you better try to find the fuck out. So I'm going to see if I can find some people. Now, to rent one of these rooms, I think it's $100 for a couple of hours. With refreshments, I think it's like $150 to use the, uh, to store the refreshments and serve them out of the kitchen. Now, I may not do that. I may just get the $100 and put the refreshment on the table. But I may get a panel of people that may agree to speak candidly and openly about a few topics because I don't know and this is my only reason for doing this what God is saying to me and what he's saying now this is going to sound crazy I don't have this woman permission to say nothing about her but he said something about Gloria Copeland he said something about Gloria Copeland being being a pedophile with a black child. Now I'm gonna tell you something. I don't wanna go into that dynamic because being from the urban Baton Rouge, Louisiana, the truth is. The young ladies are sexually active. And that's the truth. And you know, I was at a certain place here in Atlanta. And I walk in, and this very uh, innocent looking young girl, I'm gonna guess 11, 10 or 11, I'm gonna, guess, I'm gonna say 11. 11 or 12 was very childlike in her demeanor but she was also sexually aroused by the encounter she was having by the adult that was in the room now I sat there quietly maybe 15 minutes completed my concern and left so what happened after I don't know but see the, what I noticed about that is she have a childlike demeanor even though she was aroused in Baton Rouge, the young girls have an adult demeanor. It's very common. When I was young, the white stuff used to just come and pick them up. 11, 12, 13. They used to come and pick them up and do what they wanted. And I, got, I had gotten a fight with one of them. Because they, they wanted to take me along. And when, shit, I didn't know what the fuck they was doing. When I didn't get in on the shit, them hoes, the New Orleans on my ass. So, but they had to do it that way because I was known for being four bitches down at a time. But I'm not going to make this video any longer than it have to be. What I'm doing is I want to find a panel because my only concern here, look at this shit here. Oh, I love, every time I pass the office space, I want it. Oh, I love it. I love that. It's really, it's not enough parking for what I may need. But it's nice. What is this? I can't tell what that is. It's a whole furniture store right next door to it. But, um. I have one, I'm my only concern, and it's, it's not any political concern, any educational concern. In the community concern, in the social concern, 
any welfare concern. My concern is only that I do not know and, and I don't know how to find out what God is trying to say to me. Now, I wouldn't fucking care because I said, I don't know what you're trying to say. And I'm going to do what I need to do. And probably would get fucked up because not hearing it. But he's attacking my body sexually and I want to know where he's going with that. And it's something regarding Bobby Winchester. Something about Bobby Winchester then. Not sure what he's saying about him. But I want to gather a panel of uh, whites and blacks and preteens to see if we could work through. This has to be less than two hours because, uh, to be honest, paying a hundred dollars is gonna really put me somewhere I can't be. I can't afford to be to rent this. Paying a hundred dollars for two hours for this room to house this panel and serve refreshments is really gonna put me somewhere. So. I need to see Fred has to get the pen. So anyway, I'm going to have to locate a panel and I have to say that the discussion is going to be very, very adult in content, very controversial in content and very raw. Because my question is this. He said something about pedophilia in the black community with white women. Now, keep in mind, I'm not trying to indict anyone. I'm trying to indict anyone or choose anyone, malign anyone, or anything of that, anything of that nature. I was looking at the, at the books. It's nothing that I had time to read. It's a couple of books that look mildly interesting, but I don't have time right now. It's a picture of nothing to read. Nothing but the Bible anyway. So, with this being said, I need to gather me a panel to see what God is trying to show me. And, so he said somehow, somebody... Is looking at now. Of course, you see me on YouTube and a whole bunch of stuff. But somebody watch me in my personal life and on YouTube and want to repeat it. I have no idea why. And usually that fits their own words and imitate my personality. I have no idea why. Because because apparently they get involved with someone they can't do as themselves. So and so what they say is they want to know who I'm with. Am I, so apparently I'm supposed to be fucking right now. Apparently. <laughs> right. Now pretty much of us, as married people, you probably had you look quick before you came to work. So you good. But really I have a lot to do. I was I was sent to um really go and try to handle some business here. Now, so I'm, I'm going to see who may be approached, but who may have time for a two hour panel, unpaid, of course, free lunch. I assume I have to get something really good. Yeah. I'm trying to see if I should gather the panel of people that I know rather than approaching someone I don't know to sit on a panel at the moment. So with that being said, I'm gonna let you see. It's a nice overcast day. And I'm gonna wrap this video up.
But I'm gonna go ahead and make this statement about the little girls. I don't know if they're looking for women who want to have sex with them. You know, being sexual like the children. Oh, well, that sounds like an oxymoron. That sounds like a crime. Well, you need to position yourself in the urban community. Now, what, what I wanted to say is, you know, these young ladies may be thinking it's another white woman out there that's beautiful as Gloria Copeland and so and so and so and so. I'm not going to call her name. Very known local celebrity. So and so and so and so and so. Who wants that experience with a child? And I'm such a and I want blah, 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 blah. Or what they may not realize as children, inexperienced in the world the ways that they thought they were, just because you live in a fast life, they can, they going to sit for the one that they want, and they won't be attractive. So while you sit around looking around, they didn't do what they want to do with who they want to do with. And if they're not sent for you, then they obviously don't want you. Because they probably see you trampling and trapping up and down the street. So they see you trampling and trapping up and down the street trying to sell your tail. <laughs> Let me tell you something. If a, if a 48 year old, overweight, bald head woman is being asked at every day, you better believe she know how to go and contact someone to go and get the young lady for her. And and ha have a sexual work properly. You better believe that. And so while you sit there and look for another pedophile, uh, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to say like I'm aligning a white woman who wants to participate in that with a sexual act of teen. She thinks she's an adult. I want to malign her. Shit. Um... I think that she'd be wanting us to come out and pick her up since she thinks she'd want her. She, she had a car. You know, when I was in middle school, this should be a young lady. Ah, this was 12. I don't want to lie on her. She used to have a 40 year old man bring her and drop her off every morning. Had, he had won a library, bought her a house, he had to live in a house. Pick up and drop her, so nobody said nothing. And, I, and, and at 12, I'm like, why nobody standing in that man picking up? Why? Because they won't pick her ass up. That's why nobody's saying nothing. But with that being said, right? With that being said, that's not my intent to malign or bring out any any things in society. And I think that I got caught up in the click coming to the community without having, you know, a more secure support system. Because people are doing things here. And in, in this community today, you may not be doing it in my community. You know what I'm saying? And they don't want me in. I don't want me to know about it. Or whatever, whatever. So, with that being said, I'm not saying anybody who come here get hurt. I know I met some woman from South Carolina. Baby, she all up in it. She didn't got, she didn't got her nice three-story town home. That bitch, bitch think you're stupid. I know she didn't fuck one of these hoes to get it. Nice three-story. And they were telling me about how nice these houses they put in me. But, say so she moved here and she was homeless. She got something. Nice looking young lady. She out game. She, she on the hunt already. She, she out. She here. She on the hunt for another one for to sleep with. And that's the mystery that, that I don't understand. But I guess they don't commit to a side piece when they can have an experience with any woman that comes through the door. Here and there, you know. But I'm not going to keep going on and on about that. I'm going to keep going on and on about that, you know. And I'm not trying to delve into that experience and the details of it, you know. I mean, you know, when I was young, people would say, well, what they doing? I never dwell on that. Well, you got a tongue and a vagina. Boo, what you think they're doing? And I would leave it at that. Well, we can go and speculate what must be happening after, I mean, after, after being 48 years old, having two kids, you can, you can assume 
There's something passionate that's happening. You can assume that. And if we make a, if we, without having seen, we don't have seen what is happening, let's create a scenario. Let's just create a little bit of scenario. Now I've heard things are happening. But let's create a little bit of scenario. If the child, and I've seen some young girl, obviously the child is just a giver. Let's say that, if you ever been eating from the back, that's very passionate. It is, it's very passionate, it's very tender, it's very intimate. And we can just we can just go on and on about the passionate thing that might be happening. Are we indicting anyone? Well, I think we're making a choice. I just think that they're making a choice for an experience that I won't pass up. Like I said, we all walked in the room. Generally, yesterday, this woman gonna come and try to put her breast in my face. I thought that was disrespectful. And I said, next time a bitch do that shit, I'm going to scream, ow! And, and act like I done seen a bug. Just to draw some attention to myself. And, this, and a bitch won't put ass in nobody else's face. But, but the point is that I was, the point I was making is this. I think, and as far as the panel, I was going to see if I can locate some people that wanted to speak with me. Even though people were having a leisurely lunch. No one seemed to be engaging. That with me anyway. I'm not going to take that personal. So I'm going to just go ahead and see if I can get a panel of people I, I'm familiar with and know and acquainted with. And I will move far from there. I had time to listen to something I was really busy doing. I think that would got a lot of people fucked up. You know. It's for to see me with money, which I, I don't know why. But... With that being said, I, I don't think we need to delve into other people's private lives. I'm, I'm talking about me. I don't know what you do. I don't think we need to delve into other people's private life and what experience they're having. Well, because it becomes a choice. And in my mind, the choices have consequences, whether it be short term or long term. And when I say that, well, simply, what choice are you making? Well, I so said we all come into a, a place where. We, I, I don't generally walk in their building and think that I'm going to have a sexual encounter. But we all went somewhere at some point in time and encountered someone that is their office experience right now at that time in their office, on their desk, or on the leather sofa, wherever it is. We've all had that experience. We'll take it. We'll take it. And so, now, what do these people doing with you? And I don't know. What people do with children? I hear, you hear horror story about children coming up missing, children coming up dead, children coming up beheaded, children coming up raped. But I have to say, in the urban community where I'm from, these young ladies not only are such late, but have the meaning of a doubt. I said I was in the office here, and the young lady was very aroused by the encounter that I walked in on. And I'm very silent about it. I didn't make a comment. I didn't say nothing. Yeah, lady, 12, I don't know, 12, 11, 12, yeah. But she had a child's demeanor. These women, these uh, girls are women. They have women demeanors, women speech, women action, and they are having women sex. Yeah. So, now I don't know uh, how, I, I don't know how uh, more widespread, like I said, when, when I was coming up, you will see the women that will come in to participate in it with these sexual acts of young girls. In the urban community, they will come in the urban community. And they will participate, you will see it. Sometimes with some college white girls, sometimes with some white studs. Sometimes it was a nasty white teacher. You know, but it, it became nothing more than gossip and, and comical to us. As children, as children, I used to laugh at all kinds of bullshit. And that was one of the things I would laugh at. It's, it's the one of my relatives that hate me because of the shit I used to laugh at how she had a lot of pokes in her family. Now, I'm not homophobic, but as a child, I used to say shit like that. And I used to laugh at shit like that. And when I say that, right, 
in my mind that was comical that them white people was fucking them hoes. Them little young hoes. That was comical to me. Now what making me mad, I don't give a fuck. It's not it's nobody in my home. That I don't have that kind of shit going on in my home. My children, my son is fifteen years old. No, no, he have curious behavior at times. But if I look at his phone and try to trace what he doing, he's watching Roblox and Rob Robotics and playing some kind of game shit. I don't even know there's game shit he playing. He 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 don't have he had a little girlfriend, but they were just talking. You know, he he as far as I know, he doesn't talk or act or he doesn't listen to hip hop. He listens to gospel only. He said, right. And if I do have sex, I, I wait till they go to school. For me, I've gotten used to that. For me, that's comfortable for me. And I go get in the bed, go to sleep. In the morning, they go to school, and we have sex while they're at school. And it's just, uh, I've been doing it so long that I don't really know how to have sex at night. I just know how to have it when I'm children at school, in the daytime. Uh, that sounds crazy. Well, that's just been the way it is. That's, for me, having sex at night is strange. Have it when the children go to school in the daytime in the house by myself. Well, but so it's nothing. I, I, I won't have a child in the house in the next room listening to me sucking dick and uh, getting pounded to death. I, I remember I got evicted from my apartment and the woman loved the woman. I love her to death, love her to death. Let me move in with her for a couple of weeks. The kids in the room. I'm in one of the other rooms. I get up to go somewhere. And her, her husband in there pounding the fuck out of her. Pally, 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 pally. I mean, <laughs> he pounding the fuck out of her. I'm like, now, you know, if I can hear that shit through the door, the kids hear that shit through the fucking door. You know what I'm saying? And lo and behold, the kids was doing all kind of old sexual shit. All kind of old grown sexual, old adult sexual shit. And so, I just really marvel at how some people's home is run. How some people's household is run. You know what I'm saying? Because my kids never see or hear sex in the home. They never see or hear sex. And they, and they see or hear them hearing somewhere else. They never see hear or sex in my home. Well, Cynthia, if you marry, you got a man. Well, well I'm not married, but... I don't have sex. Even if I'm dating someone, I don't have sex with my kids in the home. They go on to school, they get on the bus, and then we have sex. And, and by the time they come home at 3 or 4 o'clock, the house is clean, the dinner is cooked. And we're talking about God. We listen to gospel music. You know what I'm saying? But I, I moved in the house with her, and I guess I love her to death. She said, I feel that she saved me from so much embarrassment. Let me live with her after I had got evicted. I mean, he pounded the fuck out of her. Pap, 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 pap. That's what you hear that shit. Pap, 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 Like, damn. And the kids got to hear that shit. And lo and behold, as time went on, you see the kids doing all kind of shit. All kind of old nasty, gutter sexual shit. I'm not just, I kiss the boy. I kiss you and I'm going to have a baby and we're, I'm in love with you. You're my first boyfriend. I'm talking about all kind of old gutter shit. So I'm like, wow. And uh, I really, I really learned that I shouldn't say anything. I really learned. And um, so with that being said, people make choices. People make choices. People make choices. You know what I'm saying? And... So I'm not going to get off into a whole lot of old bullshit. I'm going to up to a whole lot of old bullshit. This is a U-Haul truck. I have some of my uh, belongings in it. I need to go and uh, put them in a storage facility. But I don't feel like it right now. But I need to definitely go for it rains. But with that being said, um, I need to uh, sit here and try to get some work done and pray. Because I, I feel like I, you know, I, I would stay to myself. And, and try to avoid trouble, but I feel like people are looking for me for one reason or another. You know, the young little girls and got involved in whatever with a white woman, and she thinks she's gonna meet another one. Now I have to say, I have to say this: she don't realize that these people know how to go and get who they want. 
they know how to go and connect when they want. Now, are they, are they connecting to with each other to do something to me? Well, that would be awful. Why am I a threat to you? I wouldn't suspect it. I've I never been this. My hair, and I had short hair many years. I used to wear a little short haircut for many years, but I never cut out my hair. I don't know who intimidated. I think somebody intimidated my appearance for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, I, I, w I was going to dress it as why am I threatening anyone? You know, I, I was going to dress it as that. Why am I threatening anyone? I don't know. And why is anybody intimidating me? I think the white women is coming to the rest with a little uh, insecure black lover, I don't know, and trying to attack me for some reason. You know what I'm saying? That's why I'm going to take that sexual involvement so you might have to kill a motherfucker. But the bitch that was fuck with me yesterday. She's so rampant and why I know that they ain't believe shit. She said, I don't care how white the motherfucker is. Me, shit, she say. So I, so I had to worry about this motherfucker, but the bitch, that well, bitch was really a trip. And then she, she thought, anyway, I'm going to move forward with that. There's some things I want to say, but I want to say it right now until it's done. It's not about her. You know what I'm saying? And she was telling me about some comedy connections. At the comedy club, I guess she go there. I'm, you know, when she hang out. I would not be hang out that motherfucker if I do go and connect with some of the shit that they got going on up in there. Which I do want to go. I do want to go and see what the comedy is going on. I met some guy that works a 9 to 5, but he said he also do comedy uh, every Wednesday night. So, um, I said I was going to do, uh, if I do it. As a tribute to my roadie, I'm not going to use any foul language and I'm not going to use the N-word. But with that being said, he probably sick of my ass. Anyway, which I could never talk to him or speak to him if he is guilty of what they say he's guilty of. But like I said, he made an impression on my life. But with that being said, I'd be scared of him. Because he's fat, ugly, and he's blind now. Well, I'd still be a little scared. But as, but as a tribute to my role there, I'm not going to use any foul language and, and not going to use the N-word. But um, I did want to say that, um, yeah, I'm going to wrap this shit up about the little girls trying to make that little connection. Yeah, I don't know what that's about, but then, like I say, they may be already connected and just got something against me. I know they see me working and talking to white women. And I do white women have a sense of being objectified because every I do see some white men think that you finna ask them for sex. So I do think they feel like they're being objectified, sexualized by everyone, men, women, and children. I don't know why. But I'm not that kind of person. I'm very I'm very um Q oriented. I'm Q oriented. I I'm I it's like the waltz for me. I would, I would tell you any encounter I had with anyone, whether it's making conversation or friendly or sexual, it's like dancing the waltz for me. I'm waiting for your cue. I'm waiting for your lead. You never have to think that that I'm gonna make the conversation sexual. I think they see me talking to somebody, but it's business. And I said I might feel must have a business. You wanna see me have, have a business meeting, business conversation, uh, work with a white woman? You can say this is business. Motherfucker, I really don't understand what's happening between that. They with somebody, but they want to know who the white woman is. I'm talking about. I don't know what that's all about, but well, Cynthia, you stupid. You just want to shoot the motherfucker. I don't have the means right now. And if I get the money, I'm gonna head for the fucking hills for one thing. I don't think I'm gonna meet it. Try to kill nobody else. They're gonna know my motherfucking ass did it. They've been driving me fucking insane. But I'm gonna speak to the word. Speak the word, God. You're gonna protect me from my enemies in Jesus' name. And instead of saying that people drive me crazy, I'm going to say, God, you will protect me from my enemies in Jesus' name. You are my rock. You are my salvation. You are my stronghold in Jesus' name. But with that being said, I'm going to get, I'm gonna get off of it. Like people make choices in life. And I don't want to uh, to get off into some, some you know, some shit. Uh, I want to get off into um, no political, no social, no welfare, you know, no... Um, you know, no attacks on anyone. But I, I don't understand what God, I have to say, this is my query. This is my anger. This is my question. This is my purpose. I have no idea what God is trying to say. This is, this. I'm sitting right next to a community, a senior community, very nice. And I see a girl come over here every first of the month, beautiful brown, brown skin, light skinned black woman. 
black girl. I venture to say she 21 to 23. Come on, you see the same white woman. As a lord, and she finna get that check. And she look like she takes the whole little check, Lord Jesus. Because the woman look like she just, Lord, just struggling so bad. But I can see what that must mean to them. You know what I'm saying? I can see what that encounter must mean to them. You know what I'm saying? So I, I just look. I need to shit my fucking mouth for to get somebody fucked up. You know what I'm saying? But I'm finna get out of that. I think that's some dirty shit to take somebody whole fucking check. But that ain't my business. But the encounter must be very important to the woman. But I'm finna get out of that. And I'm finna get my ass out of that woman business. And I will talk to you all later. And I'm trying to figure out what God is doing. I have to tell you, I have no idea. I have no idea. And I don't know what to find out after I was in a panel together to see if it's white women attacking me for their little lover, their little, their little uh, dirty lover. If the little girl trying to find another white woman. Oh, or what people, or somebody trying to make some money off of my work. I'm going to be honest with you, as far as the seat on the hill, I was joking about uh, something, but as far as that is, this is what I see a timetable on that. If if I can get into the worker, um, I will have to get the sponsors, get a cast. And I'm going to tell people, don't come to Atlanta thinking you're going to get into play. I have so much opposition. That people, people who want to be in the play, you know what I'm saying. You gonna, you gonna have to just be, be glad to be happy to be on board and bring some joy with you, because and we gonna have to have a few praise breaks. Um, but, and I do plan on going national with it. I do plan on doing at least a five to ten city tour. Like I said, if I do plan on doing a small, not a big, nothing big, five to ten cities. That's it. That is it. That is it. Um, and so at this point, um, I just have it written down. I have to make a plan. I have to go into the investment funds, and, and then we have to begin rehearsals. I'm going to do a, a dry run on a better audience, uh, one or two, and then if I get a more reaction, this woman had reacted to a, a play. And she was positive as she could be. But when I say positive as she could be was on a scale of 1 to 10. She was about a negative 2. And she was still trying to be positive. She was trying to find something nice to say. So I said, that if, I get a, if I get at least a 7 out of 10 of a, of, of a survey review, after they view it, then I'll go ahead and, you know, start here in Atlanta. And I'll see if I can get to a rising theater. Here in Atlanta, then I'll go and and go ahead and, and see if other cities will let us go there with the play. And that's why I'm saying now I'm looking at a uh, tentatively. It's it's gonna be um, released around probably Easter, with with rehearsals and funds. It's probably a good Easter or summertime release, which would be good in the summertime because the kids are, it's good family friendly. Play the city on the hill. Good family friendly. People enjoy. It. Kids will enjoy. It. People, everyone will enjoy. It. Old people, young people, kids, adults. So that's what I'm looking at tentatively. But in the meantime, this lady really gave me an idea um, regarding comedy. So that's what I was trying to work on. I was in it, and I, I had just attacking people who really have probably even making money or saying stuff. You know, well, I have no idea what's about and what God is telling me. I hate to miss God. I hate to miss God. You know what I'm saying? I hate to miss him. Because I don't know what he's saying. But you, know, you don't understand that. Why I don't understand this old women pain from hard fine attack. Well, somebody that I thought loved me. But I don't want to keep going on and on. Y'all uh, y'all be blessed. Receive your blessing. Take your blessing. The kingdom of heaven serves with violence. The violent take it by force. You be blessed. And I'm going to be blessed as well.